In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to record an audio file within ch.net. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to go to our Visual Studio, open it out and here you will see this window. So go to File, go to New and click on Project. Here we have Visual CH, then click on Windows, then on Windows Forms application. Here we can write the name of the project, recorder 990 or any other name of your own choice. Click OK then. And here we have our window, a proper working window. Okay. This is OK. Now we will go and we will first write the label. OK, so this is our label. Uh, we can go. And we will write here audio recorder. Okay. Now this is the text of our label. Text is audio recorder. And, and one more thing that uh, we have to go for. Okay. Wait. It, it is form one. Okay. Uh, wait. Also click on label one. Okay. And write here audio underscore recorder we will go to its uh, label fonts okay fonts and here we will select any other font if we want 28 and click ok so this is our audio recorder okay now we will take two push buttons so push button one is there and control C and then control V copy and paste it out. So button one is there button two is there. Now double click on push button one and it will lead us to the working code window. Okay. Now all this code since this time is generated by Visual Studio. So what we need to do is to go to this file and this this thing that is uh, this code portion you have to copy it out okay using system.media using system.runtime.interop services these two are library classes so we have to paste them here and you can download this file from the link given in the description okay so no need to worry about anything so also you you need to copy it out this is dll okay there is dynamic link library for uh, window media okay so it is related with and one more thing that we have declared int my fun here that is a function is there whose name is uh, my fun and this is the main function which which is actually the part of this when mmdll and uh, this is uh, string a string b int c and int d there are four parameters which are inside this function so you should have to write like this okay however i am just copying it out and pasting it inside the public partial class form one okay so this is like this okay so now we will go to our push button one when somebody used to click the push button one okay so all these statements within this uh, push button one will get executed like in, in between these two braces okay so now we will write my fun now we are calling the function my func okay okay now because these these two strings and these two integers are very important okay you should have to give the exact exact string which, which will start recording which will start recording okay so you 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 are not supposed to change it like other programs okay this is my func and i will write open new type wave audio allies rec sound allies rec sound okay rec sound okay so open new type okay wave audio open new type wave audio allies and rec sound and then i i after this this is the first string okay which is actually string a which is actually string a 
okay this is first string then we will write the other string as uh, open other string is totally vacant okay then comma then zero comma zero means that both the integers here are zero and zero and uh, string b is also nothing empty empty okay but we we are giving in string a this thing open new type wave audio allies rec sound and you are not supposed to change this thing okay you should have to write like this because it will start okay it will start our programming okay now again i will i will call my function and this time i will i will write the string as record rec sound and this will start recording record rec sound comma this zero comma zero okay so this is rec record rec sound okay so this will uh, start recording okay now we will go to push button 2 it, it is used for to stop okay save and stop first is record and okay go on and this is uh, stop for stop and save here we will i will write my funk again i am calling the function my func save rec sound save rec sound c colon h h users dcs desktop and here we will write audi audi underscore 233 audi underscore 33 dot web okay and this is my link for what is link for link for to save the file and this is file name okay rd33 i want to store it on desktop you can write your link okay your link of the desktop or anywhere you want to save it you can uh, change the name of the file and but the extension must be dot web okay okay now i will keep the next string zero zero comma zero okay now this is done i have written save rec sound then the link where where i this is the link where i want to save this file audio underscore 33 dot wave okay now again i am going to my funk my my funk my funk here close rec sound rec sound okay comma zero comma zero okay i will run it out okay now now you will see that uh, okay now our audio has been started okay now you will see that uh, this thing uh, which i'm speaking right now will be uh, will be like uh, stored inside our file that is audio file and now press the push button 2 and it will stop it out and save it as well now we will close our text okay now here you can see that this is our audio okay okay now our audio has been started okay now you will see that uh, this thing uh, which i'm speaking right now will be uh, will be like uh, stored inside our file that is audio file and now press the button. okay let me attach my speaker because uh, i can't hear it but uh, hopefully you can hear it properly so in this way you can record any sort of audio okay so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe